Hello and welcome. This program is titled Credit Risk Mitigation, Ways to Reduce Bad Debts. My name is Michael Dennis. Let's begin. Introduction. The bad news is that bad debt losses are inevitable. And the good news is there's a lot of things that you and I can do as business-to-business -business credit professionals to reduce the risk of bad debt write-offs no matter what industry we work in. It shouldn't come as a big surprise, but of course the best time to manage risk is when you're evaluating a new account. It's important to recognize, however, that we need to conduct periodic reviews. We can better manage risk by performing periodic updates of active customers and making decisions about whether or not the credit limit established is appropriate or inappropriate. To do that properly, we need to have policies and instructions that tell us how we are going to go about the process of evaluating risk in order to make better decisions that limit bad debt losses. This program includes a number of tips and tricks and ideas that you can use effective immediately to better understand, identify, evaluate, and mitigate risk. How to reduce bad debt losses. Number one, create a policy describing how credit limits are going to be set for new accounts. And while you're at it, create another policy describing how credit limits are going to be reviewed and evaluated on active customers, including how often customer credit files should be updated. From time to time, you're going to need to use credit holds to motivate a delinquent customer to send payment sooner rather than later. To reduce the chances of bad debt losses, another tool would be to require customers to provide updated financial statements once a year. Please note the use of the word require. Lots of creditors request customers to provide financial statements. This is different. This is a requirement, a condition for continuing to extend credit in the amount that the customer has requested. As a consultant, one of the mistakes that I consistently see when I go to client companies is this idea that a customer gets taken off of credit hold simply because the debtor company finally got around to paying their past due balance. That to me is a mistake. If a customer is delinquent enough to end up on credit hold, that customer should be evaluated before a decision is made to continue to ship product to the customer on open account terms. Another way to reduce bad debt losses is to encourage customers to pay invoices as soon as possible, and one way to encourage customers to pay sooner is to offer a cash discount. Ways to reduce bad debts continued. To the extent that they exist, you'll need to close any loopholes that somehow allow orders pending to ship without credit approval. When a new account is set up, there will be a process that you'll undergo in order to determine what credit limit is appropriate for the customer, but your job isn't done at that point. You'll still need to increase or decrease that credit limit as needed to ensure that you are limiting your bad debt losses. Why? Because some customers become less credit worthy over time, and in those situations, the best approach to reducing or limiting your risk may be to reduce your credit limit. When you're setting up a new account, it's important that your credit application be more than just a tool for gathering information. It should be a contract. It should be a written agreement. And in that agreement, those customers should agree in writing to your company's standard terms and conditions of sale. In order to collect past due balances more quickly, be sure that the telephone is your primary debt collection tool. If you're not doing so already, please consider using credit enhancements, including but not limited to guarantees, either personal or intercorporate, liens, letters of credit, and credit insurance. More ways to reduce losses. Please seriously reconsider open account terms if and when any customer consistently pays late or alternatively breaks payment commitments. It is my opinion that customers that do so, customers that break commitments, customers that are consistently late, are signaling the creditor that they are potentially the source of future bad debt write-offs. 
Be sure to limit the number of people in the credit department who can override the approved customer credit limits. In the companies that I worked in, there were typically two or perhaps three, at most, employees who had authority to override existing customer credit limits. In connection with credit limits, and in fact with the decision to extend credit to customers and applicants, please remember the old adage that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. This suggests that the time that we spend analyzing and investigating new accounts is time well spent. Every credit department needs a standard process for managing and handling past due accounts. Simply put, it should not be up to the individual collector to decide how they go about addressing and resolving past due balances. Another way to reduce bad debt losses is to join and become active in one or more industry credit groups. The benefit of group membership is that you gain insights about the credit risks associated with your existing customers and potentially in connection with new accounts. More tips. Number one, ensure a consistent approach to recovering past due balances. Just because you have written policies and procedures for collections doesn't mean your collectors are following them. It's up to the supervisor or the manager to make sure that their subordinates are following the written instructions that exist to describe how best to manage customer delinquencies. For example, you would want all of the collectors to prioritize their work. Specifically, you'd want each collector to contact the customers with the largest past due balances first. And this would be true whether the account was one day past due or 101 days past due. Another way to accelerate collections and reduce the potential for bad debt losses is to make sure that your invoices clearly state your payment terms. Another technique to encourage customers to pay sooner rather than later and in doing so reduce the chances of bad debt losses would be to charge a late fee on past due balances. Another recommendation I have is not to, to simply write off accounts that you cannot collect in-house. Instead, when you've exhausted all of your in-house efforts to collect an outstanding debt, my recommendation is to refer that account to a third-party collection agency. Potentially, another way to reduce the risk of bad debt losses would be to factor your accounts receivable, so evaluate factoring as a risk mitigation strategy. Another strategy would be to ensure that credit limits are set for every customer, including COD customers. If you're wondering why COD customers need a credit limit, my answer is that COD is a form of open account terms, and specifically, it's open account terms from the time you receive the check until the time the check clears the customer's bank. If you identify a customer as being high risk, meaning a high risk of failure resulting in a bad debt loss, you might consider requiring that customer to provide you either with a documentary letter of credit or with a standby letter of credit. In connection with establishing appropriate credit limits for your customers, you might consider purchasing decision support software to enable you to make better credit decisions and to establish more appropriate credit limits. Thank you for your time and attention. I hope you found this program to be interesting. By the way, this is an excerpt from a one-hour on-demand program about credit risk management. Here's information about that on-demand program. Also, if you're interested in other short programs like this one, please visit my YouTube channel at the link shown below. Thank you and have a great day.